Hey gang, Zippo. We're talking carburetors again. Uh, there's been a lot of people look at my three-part series on rebuilding, um, but there's a few things that uh, have come up that I've noticed, and it happens every year, typically right around winter time. Well, for us old salts who used to drive carbureted vehicles with points ignition, we had to winterize our vehicles. In winterizing our vehicles, sometimes we had to change our point gap, change our dwell, change our timing just a little bit. We can't do that with our Briggs engines. But we also had to adjust our carburetors. We had to richen them up. Colder weather prompted us to get underneath the hood, turn our idle set mixture screw, turn our main jet mixture screws, and keep our engines running as good in the winter time as they do in the summertime. Well these are not fuel injected little engines that we're running so we do need to do this maintenance every year on any of our garden tractors or small engine equipment like a walk behind snow blower or snow broom or what have you that is carbureted and uh, there, I've not seen any fuel injected en small engines come out as of late so what we've got here We've got an old carbs updraft or flow jet carburetor, uh, typical to the cast iron engines, the later model aluminum block uh, horizontal shaft engines. But all the principles are the same, whether it's a vertical shaft, horizontal shaft, regardless, you're still going to perform pretty much the same changes. All right. So I'm going to point out the different parts here that uh, you're going to have to adjust in order to get that engine back into its sweet running self the way that it does in the summertime and remember come warmer weather you've got to reverse the process so here's what we've got I'm going to zoom in a little bit here alright you all see that screw a little too close See, you see that screw right there that one that's your idle adjustment screw Take that screw, back it out one fourth of a turn, just a little bit. Back it out just a hair. After you do that, we're going to move the air cleaner out of the way. It's easier to do if you take the air cleaner off, so we're going to move the air cleaner out of the way. You've got that taken care of. What you're doing is you're allowing a little bit more fuel to come in with the heavier winter air. Okay. Now let's get to the bottom. Your main jet. Your main jet also needs to be tweaked a little bit. You need to open it up a little bit. That's counterclockwise. Eighth turn, quarter turn. Take it at eighth turn increments. Um, you can take it at twelfth turn increments if you want. Just look at a clock and imagine this position. Move it one hour. Check it out. Move it another hour. Check it out so on and so forth. So for example right now this is currently set at let me get you in a little bit closer on that right out of the way. Now this is our main jet okay right now you see that it's sitting if, if we're looking at a clock it's sitting you know at, at three and nine o'clock right be well no it's about four o'clock sitting right about four o'clock so what you would do simply is give it a little tweak one hour at a time or one eighth turn at a time until you can throttle up let me zoom back out here until you can throttle up and have the engine ramp up the way that it's supposed to ramp up then of course in the summertime you're going to have to reverse that process you go to throttle it up, it's going to run like crap and blow clouds of black smoke. Well, you're running too rich. Turn her back down. Get her back dialed back in. Same thing with your idle. If you've got a rough idle come summertime, turn it back in. I've had uh, a lot of people on the Facebook page, the uh, different uh, garden tractor forums on uh, Facebook, where 
people say, well, it, it ran just fine. I took it out to plow snow. You know, it runs like crap. What do I do? What do I do? Well, instead of me typing 50 times a day what you need to do, now I can just post this link to this video and uh, explain what's going on there. Um, as the weather changes, so do the needs of the carburetor. So, in short, make your adjustments as per the weather. You know, you don't go running out, well some people do, but typically, you don't go running out in shorts in zero degree weather. You dress accordingly. Well, we've got to dress our engines accordingly as well, so to speak. So, there you go. Um, don't have to worry about anything with the choke. If you find that you're having to leave partial choke in the winter time, that's a real good indication that you're not allowing enough fuel to go in. And it, what the choke is doing is the choke is restricting the airflow and mixing the proper ratio of air and fuel into your engine. So I've had a lot of people say that too. My carburetor's not running good in the winter time unless I'm at partial choke. That's why, because you need to make your adjustments on your idle set screw back up here. Sorry about this plate, but um, your main jet screw and your idle set screw. That's the reason why. Then you start it up, warm it up, get off full choke, take it choke completely off, and you are off and running to the races. Yay, you. Okay? So, if anybody's got any questions, any problems, something that's uh, more in depth with your issue leave me a comment uh, please like please subscribe and remember guys I do these videos for you to help you guys out so share them with your friends let everybody know there's this weird dude on YouTube that puts a bunch of small engine videos up that really help other people out well, maybe not really help other people out, but sometimes help other people out. Anyway, this is Zippo. Stay tuned. There will be more videos. Later. I'm out.